On this damp and chilly day, Peggy Thomas and Bob Baffa are getting a close-up look at where their favorite food comes from. My friend Bob and I love oysters. We've read about oysters. And the Damariscotta River is full of them. And here is this event that would just um, kind of total immersion into the oyster and reading, reading about them and eating a lot of them. They have become, for a few days at least, oyster tourists. Drawn by the Damariscotta River Oyster Celebration, a promotional event started last year by Omain Studios. The oysters are world famous, but we need people to understand what makes them special, what makes them unique, and that really is this place and the people that grow them. There are close to a dozen oyster farms on this river, made possible by very clean, nutrient-rich salt water. The oysters start in hatcheries, then grow for several weeks in upwellers at the docks. Then they are moved to various floating farm sites in the river, finally growing to market size on the bottom. Maine's oyster aquaculture business really got its foothold here on the Damariscotta River. We're told that 75 to 80 percent of all the oysters grown in Maine come out of this water. Restaurant chef Kevin Trong came all the way from Texas to see how the oysters are grown. We have used Maine oysters before. Currently, I'm not using any Maine oysters, but for sure, when I get back, I'm probably going to put it right back on my menu. <laughs> and Ricky Sheldon from Scales Restaurant in Portland crowned just last night as Maine's Oyster Chef of the Year. You can do a lot with them. Like You can fry them, you can steam them, you can poach them, you can eat them raw, which is you know my preferred way. For oyster farmers like Jeff Smokey McKean, the idea of oyster tourists is a good thing. Well, it's good that people are eating oysters, and then they become interested in where they've grown, and we're happy to show them. People in the oyster business here say it's all about the environment, that their oysters are good because of the unique place where they are grown. And you'll get no argument about that from the oyster tourists. In Damariscotta, Don Carrigan, New Center, Maine. That oyster celebration winds up on Saturday with an international shucking competition <laughs> at the Round Top Center in Damascata. And by the way, we're told those oyster farms ship out close to 6 million oysters a year. That is a growing wow. business for you sure. You got to keep some here because I love oysters. Yeah.